Victory challenge privilege for the gold. But right now, we've got a former New Zealand heavyweight champion in James Shaw taking on the up and coming Alex Savage. match here put together by the new general manager Benjamin Keane it is James Shaw versus uh, a relative newcomer and um... Alex Savage Alex Savage is his name here yeah? that's right Benjamin Keane really wasting little time throwing his weight around here in IPW isn't it, it feels yeah. he's only been in charge for you know a cup of coffee and it, it feels like far too long already absolutely hasn't started because uh, uh, James Shaw has decided that uh, he'll start when he's good and ready. And you hear it there, our audience growing tired of Shaw's antics. They would like to see some wrestling. I for one agree with them. But James Shaw making us all wait in typical James Shaw fashion. Absolutely, and of course, James Shaw apparently at the last uh, event, him and his tag team partner Elias uh, have stated that their, um, their sights are, uh, are on the tag division now, so I'm not sure how, uh, how interested he really is in this match. Well, interested or not, James Shaw, a very formidable opponent, former New Zealand heavyweight champion, as the bell sounds to officially get this one underway. But uh, certainly a big test for Alex Savage. And you got to believe that was the intention of Benjamin Keane when he announced this matchup. Well, absolutely. Benjamin Keane uh, punishing Alex Savage for uh, interrupting Mr. Burns at last month's event. Uh, 
where we saw him put up a, a decent fight against the leader of the Young Nets. Absolutely. Very impressive showing from Alex Savage. Only a couple of matches deep into his IPW career. And he has been thrown in the deep end. As you see, James Shaw there goes deep to the midsection. Absolutely. Alex Savage is uh, one of the products of IPW's danger room. Uh, really, uh, we've seen a lot of young young wrestlers come through making their debuts in the last couple of months. But uh, Alex Savage really looking like he could uh, have the goods to uh, make a name for himself here in IPW. And what a scalp. James Shaw would be on his way up that ladder. Savage now fights his way out of this chin lock, back to his feet, goes behind Shaw. Oh, Shaw lands on his feet for that back suplex attempt. Oh, Savage uh, floats over and now hit him. Hit him with that elbow. A little bit of showmanship there from Alex Savage, catching James Shaw by surprise. But Shaw does the same with a big kick. Absolutely, James Shaw here. Set him up that fisherman uh, suplex. And uh, wanting to make Shaw work of this. You can, you can see the look in James Shaw's face. He's just really not that interested in this at all. And it'll be interesting to see what advice Shaw's getting from his corner, from his father there. Absolutely, absolutely. His, his father is, uh, well, you know, he, he got that um, vicious side out of his son uh, earlier in the year, you know, leading him to that IPW uh, championship. But uh, in the last couple of months, things ha haven't been quite going James Shaw's way. No, Shaw's career seemingly plateau here in Impact Pro Wrestling after reaching the heights of that New Zealand Heavyweight Championship. Of course, an iconic feud with Brooke Duncan throughout much of the year. But now you see Shaw slammed to the mat by Alex Savage. That is, that is not a happy looking at James Shaw right now. And Shaw fighting his way free from that fall away slam and rolls to the outside and his father, Alan, right there to console him and maybe offer some advice in terms of a game plan to implement against Alex Savage. And now, James Shaw trying to get away from Savage, but oh! And that was a nasty collision with that ring barrier. And now Shaw dialing up the intensity. This is what we can come to expect. Oh, big knife edge chop from the Yarl of New Zealand Professional Wrestling. It's pronounced y'all. And look at that. That's my friend from Kentucky, and they, and they assure me it's pronounced y'all. Not sure we're on the same page there, Ian, but James Shaw, you see, rolled into the ring to break that count, that wily veteran ring generalship that Shaw brings in there, understands all the rules and how to manipulate them to his advantage. And right now, Alex Savage getting a taste of what it's like to be in there at an elite level here in IPW. Breaking the count again. And really, uh, James Shaw just, uh, you know, doing uh, Ben King's wishing here and punishing the young rookie, uh, Savage. And uh, really uh, putting him through his paces right now, but it could be all over right now. And James Shaw may be wasting a little bit of time taunting our audience, allows Alex Savage to slip off the bat. And a fall away slam drives the small of the back of James Shaw into the canvas. Massive clothesline from Alex Savage. Going for it again. Oh, oh calling for one more. This could be a mistake. Kicks the taste out of Shaw's mouth. It's a hell of a boot there. Spikes up down to the canvas, but look at that. James Shaw, I don't know if that was intentional, Ian, or maybe just very, very lucky, but Shaw manages to roll out of the ring. Uh, as much as I dislike the man, I would say that's, that's probably good ring awareness by uh, James Shaw. Now, uh, James is... Wait a minute! 
Alan Shaw squaring up with Alex Savage. I'm not sure Alan wants to do this. Looks like Alex Savage would love to do this. Picking him up and James Shaw to the rescue, dragging his father. Oh! Rams uh, Savage's shoulder into that steel ring post. And now rolls him right into the crossface with that injured shoulder. Savage hold out for. He's got to be in so much pain. James Shaw, one of the absolute best. Shaw. And you see there, just as we were speculating how much longer he could hold out, Ian, James Shaw ratcheting up the torque, dialing up the pressure and forcing the submission win over a very game Alex Savage, but not quite game enough to knock off the former New Zealand heavyweight champion tonight. And really, the damage was done when he was rammed his shoulder first into the ring post. And from there, it was just a, just a matter of, a, as you said, wrenching in the talk there by James Shaw to pick up that submission victory.